What's up everybody? We yeah. are doing first impressions with what you ask? The GTS series. Oh, it's here. Well, here. this this isn't ours. Uh, we ordered ours uh, really early. Some would say maybe the earliest, but for some reason it still hasn't shipped. But we have a fantastic loyal friend right wow. up the road who received his already. He brought it down. He said, guys, I'm on a business call for the next hour and a half. Go ahead and ride that thing. So we don't have full charge on this. We got like 65% or so. But we're gonna go rip it. Yeah, it's enough. I think it's enough. Yeah, it's enough. I mean, look, they're advertising 113 volts. You know what that means? Power through the entire length of the battery, whole right? Length. The whole length, the whole thing. So I'm yeah, shouldn't be, shouldn't be a big uh, difference in like power loss or anything at 63 versus 100. Yeah. I think we're good. What do you guys think? Should we go ride this thing? Dude, let's go ride this thing. Let's go ride this thing. Let's, let's go. go. You got first, dude. I got first dibs? All right, you jump on the Reggie's GT then. Also, I don't know if you saw, but check out under helmet hat. What's the best part about the under helmet hat? It goes under your helmet. Boom. No helmet hair. That's a nice hat. <laughs> you know, I've been holding this thing for like two minutes now, waiting for Ryan to get the camera set up and it's pretty light. Like yeah? my arms aren't too tired and I know I will look pretty buff. But uh, yeah, I mean, look, like, come on, oh, come on. Oh, reps, reps. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> light though. It is surprisingly light. It definitely feels a few pounds lighter than the GT, which is nice. Sick. Yeah. And with those bangs on, dude, come on. Ooh, I forgot. Yo, this thing is bone stock, except for these beautiful, beautiful bangs, which by the way, we missed a huge opportunity. The first round of bangs is black and Tiffany swirl. Oh. Looks so <laughs> sick. And we accidentally gave them all away. So we don't even have any for ourselves. <laughs> hey, so, the black's sleek though. Yeah, we'll settle for black. <laughs> we will settle for black. But uh, yeah, let's get feet on this sucker and see how we are now. 113 volts. It's a lot. Safety first. Safety first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a feeling this thing's gonna go fast. I did do a freewheel spin on it and it looks like, uh, I think it was what, 35? 35. It freewheeled out at, which I think GT is like 35 or 37 or something. So top end speed, I don't see the top end speed being faster necessarily than the GT, but I do see it being able to hold you up way more level and steady okay. at speed because okay. of that voltage. So, but hey, we'll, we'll see. You almost don't have to like feather your speed as you're getting at that top end, you kind of yeah. have a little bit more, what, would that be considered duty cycle? I mean, alleged, kinda, allegedly, allegedly, yeah, it should be a lot stiffer at high speed. Okay, cool. Which is what you want. It's like the XR. You could take the XR 30 miles an hour down a hill, but it's a it's a balance board at oh, that point. Yeah. It's so scary. But Super. whereas the GT will be a little bit more stable going downhill at that speed, and then you've got like a float wheel ADV that'll be even more stable. Right. And then I'm really curious to see how this thing does. I don't know. I don't know if I got 30 miles an hour in me today <laughs> on a brand new board that I'm not familiar with, but we'll we'll see how we feel out there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if we get spicy. Yeah, for sure. Okay, let's jump on. We set let's both ride. of these boards to Highline right now. Um, no custom shaping or anything special on it. Just feel like we'll just get a get a feel for it. We might have to change the PSI because it is rock hard in that thing right yeah. now. But whatever, we'll, we'll just ride it like it's out of the box, and then we'll play around with it on the way. So let's go. Let's do it. Yeehaw. Oh, oh, okay. Definitely mm. a seven inch tire that's way too much air in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. All right, I'm saying after this Honda, we jam it. Yeah. Oh, is this one of those Honda Corollas? <laughs> <laughs> shout out Kevin, that was cracking me up, man. Dude, shout out Kevin, that was funny. I gotta let some air out of this tire. This thing is rock hard straight from the factory. I don't know what it's at, but it feels like 20. So we got to drop this down a little bit. This would be good for the big boys though. What do you think? We go curb climb? Yeah, dude, see what that's, see what that's about. We got a curb climb. Oh, popped right up. Ooh. Popped right up, no problem. Yeah. Oh, that mag handle rattle is just the worst. <laughs> All right, let's go again. Yeah. Yeah, pops up the curbs real nice. Oh, didn't make it. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm not sure if it's placebo or not, but the lower foot pads definitely feel a little bit nicer. You feel slightly less top heavy. Yeah. Is than it? a regular GT. I mean, not quite as much as like putting dubs on. We're not, I don't think we're like a full half inch lower or anything, but it does feel nicer for sure. For sure. These are the foot pads they should have come out with in the first place, definitely. And is it the same front and back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the low boys are the same 
front and back. You see how it kind of drops down a little bit right uh, here before it goes out? Yeah, yeah, Exactly yeah. like the Kush Low and the Kush Wide do? Yep. Because <laughs> that's the correct way to do it. Yep. <laughs> but uh, let's, get a, let's get a little bonkability off this guy, see how it does. Yeah. Still got a little tail heavy on that. Oh! <laughs> Lush! Uh -oh. What was that? <laughs> oh! What was that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. I almost died. <laughs> Yo, it's got it's got torque for sure. It climbs it climbs stuff super good. Oh yeah, yeah it's still tail heavy. It's still still got that uh. on it. Ugh. Compared to the ADV, torque-wise. I mean, it seems pretty similar so far. Yeah. It's got a lot. Whoa. Should we give her a little climber? Woo! <laughs> okay, well, let's get a little bonk off it. I don't know if this video is going to be out before the Will It Bonk, Will It Slide video, but this right here <laughs> is one of the bonks from Will It Bonk, Will It Slide. Oh, geez. Oof. That was a bad one. I need a rebate. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. It gets so wonky off a of chunk still. It's still got the future motion shaping. You know, we could just go custom and give it a little bit of a stiffer nose and get rid of that, but... Oh, geez. Ooh. Oh, it's so fun. I'm just so used to riding Vesk lately. Yeah. Yeehaw. Seems torquey. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely torquey. I mean, that's one thing it does not lack is torque. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Let's see if she'll slide. Will it bonk? Will it slide? Oh, slide it. Slide it. Another one. Ah, oh, I hate this sensor. <laughs> there she goes. When you just want to get on it and go, you know? I know. Well, I'm so used to my weird little trotter shaping that I got on my vest. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, let me get up and over. Ooh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go. Jeez. If you're watching, that was that was first try. Don't worry, we'll edit out the first two. <laughs> right up. Climbs up good. It's got torque. It nudges really, really good. That was crazy. It just freaking pulled you up. Yeah, it nudges really good. You know, it nudges like it's high voltage, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. Right? Yeah. So let's, uh, let's get another one. I kind of want one more. You. Uh -oh. Yeehaw. I feel like we got to take this thing. We got to find a good hill, I feel like. We got to find a hill. Which one that actually kind of would be, a, I feel like kinda a good test is the one where we drop in um, near the, the chain swing nudge you did. Yeah. So like that, because it is like, it's fairly that's, steep. That's perfect hill point. Yeah. Um, perfect. And, and we got the ADV here We too. also have the ADV. That's for another video that's, though. That's so different. you guys will have to subscribe <laughs> to the channel in order to see that one and coming then, soon. Uh, and then obviously we could cruise down to the the one hill. Yeah. Maybe we go that far. We don't have oh, a ton of battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have a ton of battery. I don't even know. Oh, come on, sensor. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep on going. Let's just yeah. jam down R yeah. and just go hit the regular routes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, tail drag. I, I know. You're not used to that shaping. It's been a while since you've been riding GTs. Yeah, huh? dude, I've been riding the float wheel so much. <laughs> <laughs> riding vest software too much. Oh, you know what would be a really good test for torque? is going to be our little spot where we nudge and then go through and then pop and then nudge and go through and pop the little curb planter oh, area yeah that's right here yeah yeah, yeah. this will be a really good test of torque because it's kind of funny once you nudge up it's like kind of hard to get gas and speed again it's really easy to just nose out so that's right here oh geez that sensor disconnected on me mid bump oh another one Oh. Uh, that's so frustrating. Oh my God, my, I'm getting really <laughs> frustrated by this. Like <sighs> that sensor keeps cutting out midair. That's so lame. So does it not have the, 
So what I'm gonna have to do now is I'm gonna have to go into the app Singles and turn out. on deactivation delay, which is an awesome feature that Badger, <laughs> that, uh, Robert made forever ago. Mm -hmm. Can Custom. you put the single zone sensor on it? I can, but it's not permaposy is the problem too. Uh, it right? cuts out. Yeah. Out, so it's so just jump initially... re-engagement time. I got to turn that way up. Okay, so this shouldn't happen anymore. I think we just fixed it. Yeah. It's nice that we actually have that option now, but let's see it's, oh yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> She's in there. She's in there. there so now, it, so for example, when you go to skid stop, like see how it burns out a lot more. Yep. But what's nice is I'm going to do this again and theoretically, it won't be cutting out on me. Yep, look at that. <laughs> That's better. Oh! Okay, there you go. Ooh. Oh, my bad. I slammed the camera on that one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dude, I think there's something funky with the uh, new tuning that they did. Cause it's like, I know when you're going above half a mile an hour, it's not supposed to disengage on you when you're just on one zone, mm -hmm. but I've been going backwards a few times. Yeah, it just cuts. And it just cuts on me. So, mm -hmm. I, and simple stop is not on. See, simple stop is not on, as you can see. Interesting. But yeah, I've been having a couple, like if I'm going forward and I do that, Nothing, it's all good. But then sometimes like I'm going backwards and see. That doesn't, hmm. I think there might be. Seems like a bug. Seems like there might be a bug. You guys might want to look into that just real quick. I don't know. It's happened to me like five times though. Huh. Just on this one? Not on this one. Oh, okay. Well, twice on this one Twice now. on this one. But... And then it's happened to me when we updated the one GT that we have that's updated. Wouldn't I got to... dumped oh. on my butt in the shop. Oh, so, weird. or maybe I'm just so used to permaposy. Yeah, just threw me. but it is this what it is. Kinda... It's right up here. We have a nice long stretch of tarmac. That's how <laughs> that's how the Europeans say a fucking road. I'd say let's open her up a little bit. Let's get her to mid twenties and see what's up. Yeah. I'd go faster, but I'm a you know a sissy. So what are you gonna do? Ripping. It's ripping. <laughs> Oh my God, just took off. How fast are you going? Just 25. <laughs> it felt solid at 25 yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, you, you just yeah. freaking dipped out. Was... Yeah, no, I mean, it felt solid at 25 for sure. You want to try to drag race me real quick on this? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Bro, he's taking off. Oh my God, I just don't even. Taking off. Yeah, that it's thing, pretty quick, man. I think juices. It's pretty quick. Let's go up here to the bike path and I'll, uh, I'll let you right. rip one. <laughs> when you hit 25, it definitely vibrates and starts pushing back on you. Really? And it makes you like not want to push into it any further for sure. The haptic buzz is kind of a bummer. Yeah. But hmm. it is what it is. And then the pushback too. I'm so not used to pushback anymore. Yeah. Like no, I haven't ridden pushback in like six months. Pushback isn't isn't fun. It's not it. It's not, it's not it. it. So, all right, you want to, oh geez, I forgot <laughs> I had jump re-engagement set to max, which is oh. really nice for this. All right. Okay. All right, buddy. Oh yeah, this definitely feels, this definitely feels a little soggier right now. All right, ready? Yeah. Oh, I hit pushback. Damn, how fast are we going? 22. You got headroom, dude. Fuck. <laughs> you got plenty of headroom. Oh, this pushback sucks. This thing rips though, fuck. <laughs> yeah, oh, this sucks. So it's so funny, like now that I've ridden the S series and I have pushback at 25, I immediately jump on a regular GT. And it, yeah, it's a little bit soggier. It's not quite <laughs> as stiff. It's not quite as much power for sure. But the one thing that's so nice about that is that extra five miles an hour you get before pushback yeah. is just flat at 20. And most people who like, kind of like to ride fast around town, you're usually riding like 20 to 22 miles an hour. Yeah. That's like a safe, comfortable speed where everyone likes. And on a regular GT, you're just sitting in pushback the whole time, your feet are buzzing underneath you and it sucks. On the S series is nice because you're just, you're just cruising and it's smooth and it yeah. feels solid. You're not feeling any surging under your feet. So like, 
right when I was just drag racing you, I don't think you felt any surge at no, all, right? You were just all. brick. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> I was feeling a significant amount of surge. It was, it was, you know, pulsing under my feet, trying to keep me up. Woo! So, I mean, that's the difference right there. Like, there's definitely more voltage. Yeah, it feels like in it. that S series. Yeah, I feel, I feel definitely more comfortable fucking just gassing it because I feel like on that thing still. I'm, I don't know, I'm always so nervous about the freaking... The nose dip? Just the nose dip, yeah. yeah. Well, it's got it's got the strength to hold you, the yeah. GT does, but the S-Series is definitely, it's definitely more power. It definitely feels like, 100% it, yeah. it's more power. Yeah, the power feels pretty nice. You gonna try to go up this guy? I think so, yeah. Okay. Do, you, do, I, get, do I get speed into it, you think? I'd say we get a little bit of speed into it. We should at least start from the corner. I don't think either one of these are gonna climb up there, honestly. It gets pretty, like, yeah. Maybe if we had a remote, we could keep the nose super stiff. Or yeah. maybe if we like switch to elevated or something, we might be able to get a little further, but I'm it just wants, curious. Yeah, give it a shot. Let's see. Oh! Ah, so close. Oh, close. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get even close to that mark. <laughs> Because A, I'm on just a regular GT, and then B, I outweigh you by 300 pounds. <laughs> so head. that's gonna be a little tricky, but let's let's try. Yeah, it's oh. about as far as I'm getting right about there. Still pretty close though. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay, I'll trade your boards now. Yeah, yeah. Try this one. Coming down the hill, boys. I'm Coming down the hill. <laughs> So right out the gate, I can get a better start. So I've got more speed going into it already. And I definitely got up a oh. little further. It's screaming at me, but we got it. Oh. We got it. Wow. It's better at climbing. It's a better climber. Oh. I don't know, I have the speed. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, come on, man. I it's cheating, know. is it? Come on. <laughs> Uh, well, shall we rip down the hill? Yeah. Uh, down the hill, a ripper. Yeehaw. Whew. All right, now just for shits and giggles. <laughs> we ain't cut this part, but we've got the, the lowered ADV with the big tire gang on it <laughs> and a flat tire. Dude, you're riding this thing flat. What, did Nico just, ride this? I just grabbed it. What, did Nico ride this thing? Juice. I was like, oh, it is boxy. Oh, I tried, I tried to take the harder line. Ah! All right, I took the cheater way. I tried to take the harder line straight up it. <laughs> Couldn't make it there. He's Bombing dropping. down the hill. A little skirt on that a little one. Little skirt. Look, the ADV and the GTS comparison video coming soon. Stay tuned for that one, but maybe just a little teaser of that. Feels pretty similar for a torque climbing up it. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, we got to test it a little more fairly. You know, yeah. with a similar size tire and about the same ride height. That's what we're gonna do. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, here we are. One, you want to do anything else, or you want to call it? I mean. Let's go high speed fly down the freaking grass here just because it's super fun. All right, yeah. Let's, let's do that and that'll be our outro. We'll leave you guys with that. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's an initial test ride of GTS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around. We got a ton more GTS stuff coming over the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to tune in for that one. It's going to be great. Yep. Let's bomb this hill. Let's bomb this hill. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, my friends. <laughs> oh, I'm getting this. Woo! All terrain, baby. <laughs> All terrain. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, a little micro bonk. Think. Too fun. That thing cooks.